नेक्स्ट इज स्पेरिकल मिरर्स स्पेरिकल मिरर्स आर द पार्ट ऑफ द स्पेरिकल सर्फेसिस विच आर पॉलिश एट द वन ऑफ द सर्फेस सपोज देर इज ए स्पेरिकल सर्फेस एंड इट इज कट बाई ए प्लेन एंड पॉलिश एट वन ऑफ द सर्फेस सिमिलरली अनदर टाइप ऑफ द मिरर इज फॉर्म बाई कटिंग बाई प्लेन एंड पॉलिशिंग एट द वन ऑफ द सर्फेस सो फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ द मिरर इज कॉल्ड द कॉन्वेक्स मिरर we can represent it as so this surface is the reflecting surface another mirror is the concave mirror represented by as shown in figure and the surface is the reflecting surface convex mirror is also known as the divergent mirror and concave mirror is called the convergent mirror convex mirror is used as rear view mirror in the vehicles because of the large field of view while the convergent mirror or the concave mirror is used as the mirror for shaving now we define some important terms related to the spherical mirrors one is the pole pole is the center of mirrors reflecting portion so center of the concave mirror is represented by p this is the pole of the concave mirror similarly pole of the convex mirror will be the center of the reflecting portion next is center of curvature pole is represented by p center of curvature by c and center of curvature is the center of sphere of which the mirror is the part third is radius of mirror or we can say radius of curvature represented by r this is the radius of the sphere of which mirror is the part so in diagram we can represent center of the sphere as c and radius by r and the line joining the poles with the center is called this is the principal axis so fourth is principal axis it is the line joining pole to center of curvature fifth is para axial rays para axial rays are the rays which are parallel to the principal axis and are in its close proximity similarly we can define marginal rays these are the rays which are parallel to principal axis but far away from principal axis next is focus represented by f focus is a point 
at which the paraxial rays after reflection will meet or appear to meet. For example, if we consider a concave mirror and the principal axis passes through the center of curvature and the pole, then a paraxial rays which is parallel to the principal axis and closer to the principal axis that is point A is close to P. This ray after reflection passes through a point that is called the focus. Similarly, if we consider the convex mirror, and there is a principal axis passing through the pole of the mirror and the center of curvature, then a parallel ray, that is a paraxial ray, after the reflection diverges and appear to come from a point that is the focus. Next is focal length. Represented by small f. It is the distance between pole P and focus F. Also it is to be remembered that the focal length for the concave mirror is negative and the focal length of the convex mirror is positive and for plane mirror focal length is infinity. Next term is focal plane. Focal plane is the plane which is perpendicular to principal axis and passes through focus of the mirror. 